We could pull the offensive core one off the line, bring them over to the front up here. That does mean that they go through an ocean though, and there are ships in that ocean. So I changed my mind. You stay right where you're at, please. Friends across the border. As the flames of revolution encroach on Silesia, a violent strike has engulfed the Breslau paper mills. Fearing escalation and a further loss of profits, a cabal of Russian shareholders have petitioned the government for immediate aid, offering the assistance of off-duty Russian gendarmes stationed across the border. Uh, we could accept their aid, lose a little bit of prestige. Civil War progress drops 10%. Movement to enact universal suffrage becomes more radical. I don't want to do that. We could reduce civil war progress by 5%. The movement becomes even more radical. Or let us avoid bloodshed. Adopt a conciliatory approach. 25% chance it goes up 10%. 50% chance it goes up by 5% the civil war progress. 25% chance nothing happens. Either way, Silesia gets minus 30% manufacturing industry throughput for two years. That would be balanced out mostly by our decree. And the movement to enact universal suffrage would get negotiations, so it would lose radicalism. Oh, I suppose that whole bottom section is specific to the 25% chance. Or no, I think it becomes less radical no matter what, but the chance goes up. Let's do that. Oh my goodness, we got 10%. But the radicalism did drop, so it should be dropping. We need to hold out until Russia feels like peacing out. I'm surprised they're not trying to convoy raid us. Hmm. Our dead and wounded have actually been equivalent. Well, not our wounded, but our dead are equivalent. Interesting. It must have been when we attacked a couple times. Alright, they've gone super hard on this Schleswig Holstein front. But my dumbass people will go through the ocean and probably get attacked by the enemy ships. Forms at gunpoint. With revolutionary sentiment boiling over across the nation, King Friedrich Wilhelm von Hohenzollern, advisors in the Junkers have recommended a package of reforms to appease revolutionaries. So civil war progress drops 25%. Prussia enables the law, universal suffrage, and 5% five five of pops in Prussia become more loyalists. Really? Okay. So, or we could do the Junkers will serve as our greatest defenders against revolution. I remember something like this happens, right? Some From time to time. Whenever you have one of these revolutions. I forgot about that. The Junkers would get more interest group political strength. I don't want to do that. We can say no. <laughs> no, we, we have to accept it. Now we have universal suffrage. I wonder if this is going to tear us apart. <laughs> going really spread on voting might reduce the legitimacy of the government too much, but maybe they fix that. It'd be really nice to get out of monarchy. But I think I could hand handle a Junker Rebellion, but maybe we should wait until the next election. Maybe these political parties will kind of like tear apart as well because the devout are now communist. And the next election is in two years. Apparently we've lost 106,000 dead somehow. Russian attrition, 90,000 people killed. Are you shitting me? Russian attrition, 48,000. Oh, damn, dude. Is our infrastructure just not that good out here? It's, I think it's decent. 2% attrition. Why is it a 20% just because of the, the base army attrition? So I can't even escape that. Okay. Just need the goddamn Russians to get out. I might actually lose the northern front. And now the industrialists are quite upset with us, unfortunately. And there's a homesteading. Oh my god, do I need to get rid of this dude? Maybe I keep him around and we hope for a, a swap. Just like we had earlier. Good lord, this agitator. I can't get rid of him either for three years. Convoy's a negative now. What's that market for iron doing? Still pretty cheap. Let's just go ahead and cut this trade route. And this trade route. That'll fix our convoy problem. Authority is getting a little bit out of hand. Could cut taxes. Consumption taxes. Let's just cut the luxury clothes tax. Yeah, we might lose the northern front up here. We have some weird battles occurring. Sometimes they split up our troops into really small amounts. But we're still... Holy shit, are we winning? No way. 
There's no way. Just because of manpower? How many dudes do you have left? We might win. We're gonna win. Holy shit, we won. Oh, wow. Come on, Russia, get out of here. Looks like the Russians aren't even committing anything really to the front right here, other than a few token troops. They've really gone very hard on moving up here to try to beat me. Because I don't want to go through the ocean and get sunk. My fleet is now up to 42, but they have 50 in total right here. I think we push here on this side a little bit. Let's test them out. See how things are feeling. Alright, we got a 39 versus 36. Our dumbass vassal is going to die alone. That vassal bugger, hope they fix it soon. I should take a break here pretty soon, honestly. We got 38 offense versus 39 defense. What are they working with? Can I see your composition of soldiers somehow? I don't think so. Anyway, we have the advantage. We are winning in terms of pushing. Let's double check how things are going over here. We're still okay, still holding, still grinding them into dust. Thank you very much. And triage, wonderful. I don't think I want to screw with the... Do we get that no matter what? How does that work? First aid, mobilization option. Right, there are mobilization options. I forgot about that. Why do I go to the mobilization options? Do I have to click them specifically? Yes, okay. So right now they have basic supplies. I could get them extra supplies. Not too interested in that. I'm more interested in the medical aid. But when we turn it on, it would reduce their organization by 25%. No thank you. That's what I was concerned about. I don't want to reduce their organization. Let's finish up Shogun just to finish it up a little bit faster. And then I think that'll basically be done. Be done most... Oh my, oh my goodness. Most of the tier 2 techs will be done at that point. We'll go into a tier 3 tech. Or maybe we go into a tier 3 tech right now. Let's go socialism. Alright, we are winning this fight still. We are losing more people slightly than they are losing. But if we can push into their land, they're going to be more likely to just peace out. Alright, got another fight that we're probably going to win on the offensive. And then I think after that, we're going to have to take a break with the offensive army. Alright, we have a couple of events here. The, the Waffling Revolutionary. General von Holstein Gottorp. An associate in the Revolutionary Evangelical Church is known to have some doubts about his convictions. It may be possible to use that hesitancy to the government's advantage. Well, we could press him. The devout are going to be happier with us. Civil War progress drops by 10%. The devout being pissed off does reduce our education access a little bit. That would be nice. And they'd get, well it's 50-50, either more interest group attraction or they're happier and civil war progress drops. Or we have him arrested. 50% chance he dies, 50% chance civil war progress increases, and he gets on the run. I don't want to make the devout stronger. They won't be communists forever. <laughs> so, this dude is a brigadier general. Eh, fine. Press him to support. Alright, we got the good option that came out. We got the relationship instead of the population attraction. So then we have the Feminine Order of Prussian Schleswig Holstein. A group of women affiliated with the Evangelical Church in Prussian Schleswig Holstein have founded an organization with the purpose of arranging medical and material support for anti government revolutionaries. Uh, progress goes up by 10%, or crack down on them. Progress goes up by 5%. They get some issues. I'll do. I'll just let it happen because. As long as the radicalism doesn't go up to 100, we'll be okay. And who knows, maybe I can switch to homesteading from tenant farmers. Kind of hoping that this northern front gets completely exhausted at some point. The blue bar, I believe, is manpower, right? Yeah, manpower. Once these bars are low enough, I can actually just push through and steamroll them. I just need to grind them into dust a couple times. And then they, can, they will completely run out of manpower. It's just a waiting game, really. Over here, though, we do have a bit of an advantage so that we can push and take, hopefully, get the Russians to leave. But now my vassal's about to lose. Russia's now rivaled us. Okay. Let's actually improve some relations with some people. Austrians? I don't think so. We need to fight them after this. Ottomans? Sure. Enemy of my enemy. Finland? Norway? Can I customs union anybody? I could customs union Sweden. If I give them an obligation, really. 
I don't think I can ever integrate them like a puppet. Like once I can't protect her with them, I'm pretty sure. Do I want Sweden? You're pretty damn weak. Not sure I care that much, although it is a market of people to sell to. I had to give them an obligation so they could force me to join a uh, diplomatic play at some point, maybe against the Danes, and then get me in a, get me into another fight like this, which I guess could be fine. How many people live in Sweden? 3.11 million. That's a pretty decent chunk to add to our union. They could start to supply coal, some iron, iron, logging. I mean, it sounds sounds like a decent deal to me. I don't think I have an intention of conquering them anytime soon, at least. Yeah, Sweden, I'll give you an obligation. Come join our customs union. All right, improve relations. Let's do it with uh, just with the Spanish, I suppose. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Let's look for an alliance possibility. And a whole bunch of small little states that I don't want to get. The United States of America would do it for an obligation, but clearly our alliance with Russia was basically pointless. They decided to side with Denmark for some ridiculous reason. Kind of want to rival Russia now. Let's do that. Y'all done pissed me off. Let's just improve relations with Spain, Portugal... Mexico. Just throw some out everywhere. Maybe not Belgium and the Netherlands. I do kind of think about conquering them one day. Same thing with the Swiss and any Italian people. I think that's good with me. I find that my influence, I don't get many uses for it. We have the Great Silesia Flood. Oh, Jesus. 40% uh, devastation or 15,000 government expenses. 20% devastation. I think. We just had to uh, have it, have them deal with it. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Sweden accepted custom scene and very good. We're down to plus four war support, which is some lame stuff. Supposedly, Denmark has only lost 10.6 thousand. So they have way more morale because they haven't been pushing with like anybody really. It's just been the Russians dying. So the Danish are like, yeah, sure, continue the fight. Whereas we've lost actual people. Hopefully we don't go negative. We'll see what happens. We might actually lose this fight. Holy shit. They've effectively pushed us back enough. Alright, do we lose that state as a result? We've lost the fight a couple times. Nope, we get another chance. And we get to stop them this time with somebody that actually knows what they're doing. Yeah, the battles are all over the place, man. It's hard to tell what exactly is happening, but I guess that's fine. That's normal. It's probably the normal state of warfare. It's hard, it's hard to tell what's happening. Hey, we pushed the Russians back. Very nice indeed. Got the advantage here. I want to continue pushing with the offensive core. The offensive core is a little bit worn out, but they're designed for the. They're designed to push. Or maybe we like hold where we're at and hope that we can get Russia at least to leave. He used to be able to separate piece these dudes. I could have sworn you could do it. Let's actually have the offensive core number one switch to defend front. I need them to get their shit together first, and then we'll push later on. It'd be cool to push this northern front, but they're going to keep resupplying their people effectively enough as it is. I don't think I can get through the ocean here. We have raising concerns. Junker is upset about industrialists. Uh, either junkers get happy, industrialists become more unhappy, or... I'd rather they be happier, please. I'm losing a lot of money at the moment. Junkers become less happy and they lose political strength. I'll take that. 13.6%. That's nicer than 14%. Hey, 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 Russia capitulated. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Now I should be able to absolutely crush these dudes. And their little ships as well. Let's deploy the navy. Go hunting. Destroy their ships. Yes. Honestly, I don't need all y'all over here. Let's set the attack armies to attack. And then let's get the defensive armies to just pull back. I don't need them standing here. Please be stationed in the North German HQ. We're going to try to station everybody in the North German or Poland HQ. Man, I need to take a break. It's uh, 12.32, but I just feel like playing more. <laughs> 
take a break here pretty shortly. I think the war with Dan uh, Denmark is almost over. Yeah, we're killing their people. And we're going to lose all the land that we just gained because our vassal sucks. Unless he somehow wins this fight, which he might. Uh, he actually has uh, slightly less than they do. He might win the fight. Holy crap, he did it. He did it. Let's see if we can get... Yes, we can take it. There we go. Slice Vig uh, Holstein question has been complete. Completed. Now we have North German Confederation. Gotta go through and fix the buildings, I bet. Unless it did the correct thing, which it might have done. Looks like it did. So whenever you merge a state into the same state, I guess it copies the production methods that you already had present. Whereas when you capture the state, it again copies. Yeah, I guess it always copies, right? Okay. So we have all of Schleswig Holstein. Now we should be able to actually turn our attention down south and deal with the Austria problem. Okay, there can be no German unification candidates besides Prussia. Well, there must be an event that I'm going to get, right? No, I guess I just immediately get the prestige from solving the question of this state. I could have sworn there was like a leadership diplomatic play to attack Austria with. Maybe it's not there yet because it's not an option because we have a truce, right? 22 months left of a truce. It's not there in the list of unavailable plays. Uh, to be a unification candidate, you need to have researched pan-nationalism. Okay, so it takes a little bit more time. Let's see here. Pan-nationalism. Ah, oh, it's over here. How much time do we have left on socialism? 20 months? Uh, I'd rather push pan-nationalism now and come back to socialism later. We have the shell gun. Let's look into upgrading our artillery foundries to smooth bores. Artillery gets even cheaper. All right. I wonder if they got the goods balance right here. But let's go ahead. We'll do that. If necessary, we'll actually subsidize these people. Artillery is super, super cheap. Yeah. Let's see if we can address some of the ridiculously cheap goods that we have. Let's export some to the British market for hardwood. Get some more money there. Artillery. Nobody wants it in a decent supply, so it's too bad. Cool. But almost nobody wants oil, right? Well, the Dutch want some oil. Have some oil, Dutch. Meat is a big thing that surprisingly people don't want to buy, even though it's cheap here. It's weird. No one wants to buy it elsewhere either. Okay. Small arms, I'm cool with them staying pretty cheap. Same thing with Man of Wars. I wonder if the private construction is targeting like 25, 30% under the price point for iron because they know that iron is so important. That'd be pretty cool. So what do we do now? What's our infamy looking like? We're reputable. 17 infamy. 5 decay per year. With some extra diplomatic mitigation from having influence hanging around. What if I did something really stupid and attacked the Netherlands? Britain might join. Russia might join again. And France might join. They'd probably be pretty upset that I'd be upsetting the balance of power that much. America join could, could, could join too. Wow. Hmm. Damn, dude, you got fat. This guy gained quite a bit of weight. He was nice and skinny, but he's gotten older. GDP is doing pretty good. It's kind of up and down. Maybe we're taxing our people too hard. That could be part of it. Oh, Norway is under Sweden, I bet, right? Yeah, so Norway is in our market too. Awesome, dude. I'm quite happy to sell more of our stuff to other places that are smaller than us. Not happy to open our borders to places that are bigger than us. And we're number three great power. A ton of that comes from being number one goods producer for a lot of these items here. And because we solved the Slashway Holstein question, so we're doing pretty great. Bavaria is in the French market? What the hell? Why is Bavaria in the French market? You're not allowed to be in the French market, sir. Bavaria will accept changing if we give them an obligation. Well, can I improve relations with Bavaria? No, I cannot come back, Bavaria. Like, oh, fine, have an obligation. Do not leave. You're part of the Prussian market, the true German market. Wait, who is this? Württemberg as well. You want to come join me, Württemberg? Württemberg will not accept. 
Don't know why that is. Maybe they're actually just a little too big. That could be it. No, I could actually be conquering these other dudes, couldn't I? Bet nobody would care about that now that I realize that the uh, French and Portuguese are attacking people here. That's something I'd like to do. Oh my goodness, don't tell me I've been... No, I can get out through Futa. What has Futa got going on? 500,000 population, quite a few, and some industry. Check that out. Y'all been doing pretty well for yourselves. Be a shame if something were to happen to you. Well, do we want to attack there or attack somebody else? That's a good question. Might need to colonize right here. Yeah, colonize Guinea. And then we'll spread out that direction. Liberia is under the United States, right? They're a protectorate of the U.S., right? Yeah, I'm not going to mess with them. I'm not going to mess with the Dutch right here or the French Republic. I can target Futa Jalon right now. I could, I could probably just naval invade some people if I really wanted to, actually. I got 46 flotillas now. Not quite up to 50 yet. I'm pretty sure I built 50. Yeah. And again, we have the bug of nowhere in here are the ships I had ordered built. And yet there are some ships ordered built. So once again, please build my man of wars. One, two, three, four. Get it done. We could try attacking the Zulu. I think the best thing we do is just go ahead and be like, hey, uh, we own you now. So yeah. They won't accept. Force the, di force the diplomatic play. Who is going to come to their aid? Nobody. Better be nobody. I'm only going to rally one, mobilize one army to deal with this problem. Offensive core number one. Well, they couldn't reach the front. What? Why not? Where are you at? Offensive core number one. Oh, you're trapped again. Right. I hate that. So, like, you need to be able to, you need to be able to integrate some of these states. Offensive core two then. We'll have you deploy to the front. We need a lot more convoys now. So we have to cut some of the trade routes that we have going. Primarily the iron exports to the Chinese first. I keep absorbing more construction points that I don't need. That's the issue. That's why my budget has been fluctuating so damn much. One of these is in a bad spot. I think the ones in Brandenburg are in a bad location. Uh, let's just let's deal with it as long as we can, see if we can get through it in terms of budget. We might need to reintroduce some more taxes. Yep, nobody is coming to the aid of this little African nation, so they're going to get stomped immediately. Our Wafuta Jalan has broken out. Then we have the Prussian Western New Guinea Great Eruption. Well, that sucks. I'm not spending 17,000 pounds per week on a little colony like that. Sorry. We're already at minus 41,000. And there we go. We have utterly stopped them. I guess we need a couple more battles down here. But it won't take that long. At least it shouldn't. Nope. One more conflict. Right, there we go. And uh, yeah, we conquer you. A lot of our pops are below the minimum expected standard of living, actually. Crap. Alright, what's going on with Westphalia? They're doing alright. Says 25.7% below their expected. They look fine to me. Maybe that's just a bug. What about 84.4% in Brandenburg? Okay, not a bug. You expect more income. Gotcha. So what's the problem here? Taxes, I guess? Must be, right? We've been pushing them too hard. Alright, let's reduce taxes there. We'll have to shut down the construction offices in Brandenburg. It's going to cost way too much money to maintain those. The ones in Schleswig Holstein as well, we don't need those. Probably the ones in Bohemia. Let's see... Well, Bohem Bohemia has iron and coal, right? Yeah, iron and coal, so they can have proper steel here. We'll let them have the construction offices, maybe. Depending on how much money we keep losing here. And the sound effects, when you get really close, you can get out of hand. One of them in particular gets really out of hand. It's that one. Yeah, it gets worse and worse. Another inefficient agriculture will follow the industrious advice. And an election in 140 days. Mm, Transvaal. I just noticed they did something. They established some colony or something. But what I remember about them is I think they might have gold. They do have gold. I'd like some gold. That means they got to go through the Zulu to get to the gold. Would the English get in the way of that? Uh, I can't demand right now because, right, I'm not done with this 
silly little fight in Africa. Almost done. Great. War goal is enforced. We now control that land. It's all one big state of Prussian Guinea. It is got a little bit of devastation. The market here is not perfect. They're actually over on infrastructure. We have 736,000 people. Wow. That's a lot. Let's actually fix up all of these little industries here. You know, I should swap my other furniture people over to maybe precision tools as well. It'd be a lot more money, but furniture would get me a lot more expensive. We could maybe go down to butchering tools on the livestock ranches. We actually produce a bunch of meat, but I'm fine with that. Let's just push the livestock ranches to the brink. Get them to generate as much as they possibly can. All right, yeah, I should probably build a railway down here, actually. Let's build that railway, get that done. Let's put that at the top of the queue, actually. And then after that, I really don't want manufactured goods here. But if they're making profit, then we'll leave them here, whatever. I'd like to get more raw resources. Let's look at how many peasants we have. Only 8.58 thousand peasants, 3.67 thousand unemployed. That's maybe two plantations worth. Let's look at the price of dye and then the price of sugar. Sugar is pretty cheap. But a lot of it does come from trade routes. I would prefer to get more domestic sugar. So I think we're going to build up two sugar plantations here. Actually, they do need more population in other buildings. A lot of these buildings actually need population. They hold boatload. Uh, never mind on the sugar plantations then. <laughs> Alright, so that'll be fine. We just need a railway there to fix the, to fix the market access. We could do another conquest, and this one could be the Zulu. We just had to naval invade them. The English are the only people that might be a problem. Although it looks like the Chinese might get involved. I think that's the Chinese flag, the third flag from the left on the bottom row. That's weird, but there is gold in Transvaal, and I want that gold. But I also don't want to get into a fight with Britain if I can handle it. If we get into a fight with Britain they're gonna sink my convoys and I will not be able to fight in Africa. Their navy is over four times as big as our navy. They are powerful. Maybe we attack Russia. I'd like to beat the crap out of Russia but I think we have a truce. Yeah three years left. Three years left. That's too bad. And it is 1 a.m. I need to take a break, start winding down, and get some rest. I'll be gone for just a moment, but then I'll be back. All right, we are back as Praja. It has been way too long since I last played this, but I finally got some time to work on it after wrapping up the We the People playthrough before I start another one after I finish this particular playthrough. I've taken a moment to look at our situation, and we're obviously not very inclined to be nice to Russia, so we're going to think about maybe taking some land from them at some point. Once we get pan-nationalism, we should be able to take on Austria to become the leadership candidate, the unification candidate, the sole one, so that we can unify at least the North German Confederation. I'm not sure if it does both, but at least it'll be the, north one, the northern part. But I have noticed that there's a bit of an issue with our populations being below the minimum expected standard of living in a lot of our states, such as 78.2% of our pops in Brandenburg, our capital state, are below what they expect to be. I kind of wonder, because if I look at my average standard of living, it hasn't really gone down too much. It has gone down a little bit, but I'd say that's maybe, it used to be like 10.3, and now it's back up to 10.9 getting close to 11 on average. Like our rich people are doing pretty good compared to what they expect, our middle strata are doing pretty good, but our lower strata, they're struggling. Like a lot of our servicemen are struggling here. I have reduced taxes on them, but I'm not sure if the amount of time you have to wait for their standard of living to get better has passed, or if we're still waiting for the result of those lower taxes to come in on their standard of living. They probably used to pay way more than they pay now in terms of percentage of their income in taxes. Right now they pay 15.7% of their income in taxes. And I'm betting that used to be like 30%. 
because we used to have a tax on liquor as well as services. But yeah, the average price for grain, liquor, and clothes, their largest expenses for their pop needs are 10.1% higher than the base price.